Hello and welcome, this is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more of the Beasts and Exploration DLC for Battle Brothers. We're picking up right where we left off in the last video. In the middle of a battle against some brigand raiders. Uh, so I am definitely going to try and kill this guy with a polearm before he gets a chance to go. We are hitting him pretty hard here. Sadly, we did not get the kill. Uh, we do have one more opportunity to try and kill him before he gets to go. Uh, I'm just going to go full offense here, trying to knock this guy out. Oh, come on. All right, well, we do want to step back just to prevent them from getting an attack on one of my more vulnerable guys. Like that. Thankfully, he didn't die. We're going to wait. Okay, now we can try and finish him. Down he goes. Uh, and that did hurt the morale of uh, some of these men. Now, where do we go from here? I think we step up on this uh, hill because we can. And we can kind of lock this guy in and prevent him from getting an advantage against my other men. Uh, he's already moved this turn. I still think this is a good idea because if we can finish him, we could come in and get on uh, these guys before they're really able to get into a good position. And this guy may be uh, wanting to go do that anyway, so blocking him would be a good idea. Yeah, now we do have an advantage there. Alright, so we're going to poke this guy in the face, hopefully. Um, I think... Th I'm trying to remember, is this one of my newer men or not? I don't think so, because we've got good armor here. Okay, well, the polearm guy is dead, so let's kind of reroute our, our men here. Um, do we want to kill someone that's easy to kill? or do We want to? No, we need support over here, so let's get that support. There we go. Um, this man already reloaded, but he's going to need to step up so he can use that crossbow. Sadly, we are missing a lot here. Now, he's already gone. Ah, we were unable to stop that move. Oh, come on. We, we just now are going, too. Okay. So this guy's kind of tough to deal with right now. So we're going to go after this man instead because he's nice and easy to poke in the face. We're going to go really offensive against him. Um, now one thing we could do is we could knock this guy back, push him back, and then get up on top of the hill to prevent him from having an advantage against us. We are very tired, though. Uh, well, we would be very tired if we did that, and we don't have a lot of chance of hitting him. Uh, I still think it's the best move. Sadly, we missed. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a shield wall here to try and protect ourselves. Hopefully our other men can come assist. Uh, now we are tied up at this stage. Uh, so I'm trying to think what the best course of action here is. They just, I guess, just move in and, and start fighting. This is not a, a guy that is a great uh, target for us. Why are we not getting a percentage? There we go. Um, but yeah, I mean, we need to get in here. We're going to move along this way and look for the flank on that guy. If we can get it. Oh, interesting. Okay. get a shot there. I'm actually not sure what to do with the archer because these guys are pretty well defended at the moment. They both have their shield walls up. The man we'd want to go after is this guy, which is kind of the reason why that move that this guy just did was smart. Uh, huh. I'm going to move up here. We'll fire... Nero, this guy's not going to be a great shot, but hey, we hit him. They're going to come in. We're going to poke at whoever is the higher chance to hit. There we go. Got him in the face there. All right, let's see if we can finish this guy. All right, we're poking away at him. All right, so this is our heavy hitter. We need him to, to land. I think going full offense is still the right call with this guy. Fortunately, it's not paying off, but eventually it will. Uh, this shows you how much armor helps. Uh, these guys gone yet? No. So the wise move here is to wait. Let's see if we can poke this guy to death. Come on, you can do it. 
Okay, well, that was a serious injury. Another one's down. That caused the other guy to retreat. Go ahead and hack at this guy. Now we got another guy retreating. Um, so morale-wise, these guys are in a bad spot. This guy's in trouble, though. We really need to help him. Uh, if we can. So, uh, I'm going to look to do that. Uh, the problem is I just don't have the action points to do too much here. So I'm going to move up on top of the hill. And I'm going to poke this guy. Um, I'm going to move to here. Start moving in that direction. We're going to poke this guy. Uh, you uh, are going to recover because you're exhausted. And you are going to move here on the hill. Okay. I want this guy finished off, so I'm going to come in here. Finish him. Okay. That's pretty much all I can do uh, here, but I'm going to move aside so that my pole arms can get in and start poking. I'm going to repel because we want this guy off of our other man, which we were successful in doing. Uh, we're going to wait. Okay, now we need to tie this guy up so he cannot attack this man anymore because he's he's pretty beat up as far as armor. We really don't want him to take any more hits. Uh, and then we'll go ahead. I think it'll also knock down his shield wall, which is good. Uh, you, I'm just going to have wait. We maybe have an attack with you eventually. Uh, again, I think we wait because we may have other actions here. Like this guy could get up there. You, I don't think, can, but we'll wait just to see. Oh, and we're missing, really. Uh, not a good shot. Okay. With this token, I don't think I'm likely going to get a shot off here, so I'm just going to turn. All right, I'm looking for the flank, so we're going to start. Uh, we don't want to move that way. We'll move up here, and we'll move there. And we'll move there. That's tiring my guy out a lot, but it's just going the direction we want to go. Uh, and then this guy, we're just going to move into position to try and mess up this guy's morale, maybe. Oh, I kind of forgot this guy was still alive. Whoops. We can chase him down. Um, I really think we should uh, move towards trying to kill this guy. So I'm going to move there. Um, we could have these men try and follow this guy. This guy should be able to keep up with him, no problem. You go here. Yeah, now we're starting to mess up his morale. Good. Uh, get you there. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna wait. Wait. Okay. Okay, we got a good hit there. Alright, he's retreating. Go ahead and try and hack this guy down. Dead. Let's just end turn because we're not likely gonna do anything there. Now it's just gonna be, uh, you know, that guy's just gonna die, pretty much, is what's gonna happen. All right, let's uh, make sure we loot here. So we did get 178 gold, a little bit of food, a little bit of tools. All that stuff's going to be great for us because we are... Ooh, this is really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy for a couple of these things. That, uh, yeah, this is why we did this fight. And some of the cool stuff we just looted there. All right, because we just looted, uh, first off, let's uh, take a look at our men. So we have a few level ups to look at. Uh, one of my men got some injuries. I don't think any of them are super serious, though. They should possibly get mended. We could swap this guy out, no problem, though. Of course, the thing we have to look at at this stage is who is the better attacker. Well, we have a level up, so we should do the level ups before we decide how we're going to disperse our equipment. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Okay, you got two on your attack roll here. You did roll four here. One's here, so I'm not likely going to take that. 
Ugh, these are pretty bad rolls across the board. I mean, it's tempting to take this and have this guy possibly have some ability to do stuff range. I just, uh, let's just go with that for now. It may not hurt to take some fatigue. Uh, resolve might help. I think I'm going to take the initiative. That's not too bad to take. And then either the fatigue or the uh, range skill. I think we take the fatigue. That's what I'm going to go with. Okay. So we've done your level up. What would we want to do? Well... Bag, bag slots is good. Uh, it gives me more inventory items to work with. Trying to remember, I have a couple guys that are uh, dudes with dogs, if I remember correctly. I'm trying to see if I can find them. I, I know one of them's here. Is the other one this polearm guy? Okay. Yeah, I did take this as well, student. So yeah, the bags or the student, I think, would be the right call. Let's go with student. Follow the same kind of path my other polearm guy has gone down. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's do this other level up here. Now, in this case, I'm thinking quick hands. Because uh, I'm going to probably use these guys for uh, some throwing weapons. But let's see what level up we get. Um, so definitely I'm going to take the range skill. I think I'm going to do range skill and then the defensive skills. Yeah, I mean, we did roll all right on fatigue, but these are good rolls across the board here. Uh, I like it, so let's go with that. Unfortunately, no uh, melee skill, but that's okay. Well, this is not a bad little setup here. And I think we go quick hands. That'll be really important for switching from the throwing weapons and back. So we'll go with that. So what this does is it makes it a free action rather than costing you points. Now you only get that free action once. So if you're doing a lot of switching in one turn, then it's a problem. But you're usually only going to switch your items once in a turn. That's good. Okay, so finish there. And we have the other flank as well. Hopefully we roll well with his range skill. Yeah, we just did. Very good. Um, so I'm going to definitely take that. And then on top of that, what could we take? Well, resolve probably a good idea because this resolve is pretty low. Uh, I think we go fatigue here. Because it's a good roll. Uh, I could take melee skill to try and get him a little bit better in that regard. Um, but he's not really a frontline combatant and... I kind of like the idea of these guys come swinging around the flanks and, and and laying into guys, so I do think that this is important, but when it comes down to it, I, I think the fatigue is going to be pretty important as well. And then we need a perk, and we already discussed what we we're going to take here. I don't have any throwing weapons yet, but when we get them, uh, we will definitely be using them. Alright, so we have a few weapons here to use. Uh, I did this level up trying to see who is the better uh, at melee skill. Now, this guy's about to level up, and I'm going to just assume that it's going to be him. Uh, although we may not want to use him in the next fight, depending. But the hook blade's going to be an upgrade. Uh, we have 30 to 50. It's going to go up to 40 to 70. Quite a bit of a, an improvement. So, how about armor? Yeah, it's going to be much more effective against armor as well. So, this is pretty much the next level of uh, pole arm there. Okay, we're good there. We also picked up this, which we could have this guy wear. So if we do want to swap him in, that would be fine. You know what? Because we're going to have this fight fairly soon, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, this guy isn't not as good in combat. So I'm hesitant to do that. Oops, that's not the right guy. Just for now, I'm going to do this, but we'll, we'll have to monitor the situation, see if he can repair his armor in time, because it's completely it trashed. Uh, yeah, we're all done with level up, so I kind of want to use this. So comparison-wise, 30 to 45, 
versus uh, 20 to 35. Uh, it is doing comparable damage to one of these swords. Uh, I almost think put this sword uh, or remove the sword and give him the Morning Star because I really do like that ability to uh, stun my opponents. So we'll do that. We put an arm arming sword in this guy's hands. He's not very skilled in the use of such weapons. But it is the best weapon I have out of the ones that we have here. Yeah, I think we go with that. Better use it than not. We do also have an upgrade spear here. Uh, this is the next level above militia spear or spear. So the question is of the spearmen who has the best of combat ability. So 57, 57, 49, definitely not you, 6. Uh, it may have more fatigue, so that might be another consideration. It does. So who can take the fatigue is the question. Well, definitely it's this guy. So we've already made the decision then. I'm also going to give him this better helmet, too, because he can wear it. Okay. You know, something I just realized? Uh, we could upgrade the armor of my back line. Your fatigue at? Eh. Alright, well, that'll be a consideration for maybe another time. Okay, we're, we're more or less ready to go here. Uh, let's uh, do some sorting just to get through there. Okay, let's uh, get over here to see what we've got. Oh, we're very much on the edge of the map. Uh, okay, yeah, it's going to be Dawn. You bring in poachers. That's not good. I just don't know if it's enough time to, like, repair my gear, is, is what I'm worried about in some of these regards. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to have to end up switching back to this helmet. Uh, and, like, you know, where's that one guy that has his shirt just, like, messed up? I feel like we got to swap this out for something else. One thing I could do is we remove that. We give him... I don't think he's going to be healthy in time. So let's make this guy have the... better pole arm. We'll swap these two men out. That's the whole purpose of that guy. Uh, I don't think this guy's going to be well in time either. So, you know what? Just give this guy back his shirt. Oh, I forgot you can't do it that way. There you go. Uh, and let's uh, let's swap this guy in. Because this guy's hurt too. He's probably not going to be healthy in time. We're not going to repair his gear in time. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we're going to end up doing. And I... Uh, step down here. A little bit. Giving me a little bit of time to work with things. You know what? I think I'm going to call this one a little short uh, as far as this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. We'll get into the battle uh, for this one in the next video. We'll be a little bit on a, the tougher side because we have uh, a few brigand poachers. Poachers are going to be uh, having bows typically or some kind of ranged weapon. So depending on how many men they have here this is maybe uh, a tough fight it also depends a lot on the train if they have a real train advantage it's going to be really tough for me because they will outnumber me with uh, archers uh likely if they have three for example then they have more than i do so and that exchange it will be kind of tough so we'll have to see how that goes in the next video but in any case i hope you guys have enjoyed this is mouse gunner signing out